Good evening guys, um, it's my first walk out on an evening for quite a while, I've been under the weather recently, I think I've had pneumonia, um, I'm currently under the doctor with antibiotics and whatnot, there was a couple of days where I was struggling to breathe but feeling a little bit better today, I managed to get out for a walk this evening, here we are at Saltic Bay, well I've walked from Highlight to Saltic Bay which I've just seen my first set of gannets flying up the coast and the the gorse is all out in colour and uh, as you can hear the seagulls are being seagulls and squawking not seen the peregrine sometimes see a peregrine well I'm not going to say just this stretch of coast I see peregrines wherever I walk but certainly quite often see one round Saltic Bay as well although I've not seen him tonight I'm sure he'll be kicking about somewhere you know we've got this beautiful view here from Saltic Bay. This is this is the far corner, the east corner of Saltic Bay. Um, and as you look back up the coast, if you look in the top right of the picture, you can see Whitby Abbey there. Oh, it's silhouetted away in the distance. We've got Saltic Nab in the mid to far in the mid foreground there, and then just below us, you've got Saltic Sisters. Would call sisters because there used to be three sea stacks there. There's only one now. I believe the other two were knocked down in the great storm of 1953, I think. It's getting towards um, sunset now, and I'm walking back to uh, back to the car. If you look down there on Saltic Nab, you can just see two people walking on. Sorry, not on Saltic Nab, on uh, onto the sisters. where the stud is slippery as hell but it seemed to be upright so they're doing, uh, doing better than most now they've, uh, they've disappeared now they've gone behind the nab hopefully they reappear Now that I'm, I mentioned deer, I mentioned that you see the occasional roe deer around here. Well, to be honest with you, I see them nearly every time I come. And if I walked to the right place, I'd probably see them now, but I can't be bothered. But if you look up behind the lighthouse on the bank side, there's a lot of yellow gorse bushes. And uh, they tend to either be in those gorse bushes or around the top edge of them. Sort of like where the gorse bushes enter that green field there, just to the right. That's where you see them, right on the edge of the gorse in the field. And if you walk past the lighthouse, and then once you've passed, if you look to your right, you can see the gorse there as well. They're always on the edge of the gorse, probably looking at you every time you walk past. You don't have to go in the field, I mean, it's private property, you don't need to go in the field to see them. You can see them from the footpath. But they're there nearly every time I walk past. And I think anybody who's walked this area probably walks past them too and never sees them. And unless you specifically look, that's when you'll spot them. So the main things I've seen this evening, well, yeah, you can hear them as well. Herring gulls, absolutely stacks, absolutely stacks of herring gulls out here. There's uh, quite a lot of fulmers. They're uh, a member of the albatross family. A really pretty looking bird. There's a lot of them about, although they're pretty looking bird. They can be quite gross. I think they spit on if you get too close. So yeah, look nice, but they're a bit of a bugger. And um, curlews down on the scar, and all sort of like wading birds and stuff like that. Uh, I've seen a heron go by. Well, not far from here, the guy sort of has a bit of a, a wildlife area in his garden. I know he's got barn owls in there. Not seeing any barnies tonight, but um, 
might see one on the way back to the car. Uh, quite often well, I've seen hares and there's usually quite a few hares around here. If you're lucky you'll run into a deer or two and uh, if you pay really close attention there's a little owl around here as well. I've always that little. It's difficult to see. Sign that things are changing. Springs on the way. Those birds are gannets. That's the first for me this year. I don't think the sunset's going to be anything spectacular. There's a lot of cloud on the horizon there, and it probably won't be able to get underneath it and light the cloud up. But still looks pretty. So yeah guys, here look, here's the kittiwake colony, you can see all the little white dots on the cliff there. And they're all getting ready for bed. Hopefully uh, Mr Peregrine doesn't pay a visit and pull one of them off the cliffside for his supper. They'll be wishing that too. So yeah, that's the old foghorn and uh, the guy's out cutting his lawn, you can hear him there on his little lawnmower riding about and here to the other side is the, um, the lighthouse, the lighthouse is still in use, um, it's called Whitby Heart, well I don't know what it's called actually, officially, but unofficially and to Whitby people it's known as Whitby Highlight or Horsker Highlight or just highlight and uh, as it gets dark you'll see it start lighting up we might not hang around that late tonight but yeah come down here once it's dark you'll see it working <laughs> <laughs> 